Folks, thanks for staying with us here at Pulaski TV today. Today I'm at the PES Energize office on Main Street here in Pulaski. I've got Eddie Jackson, the Vice President of Electrical Operations. Did I get that right? That's it. Took me a while to remember. I've also got Michelle Pruitt, our service advisor here at PES. Michelle, we were talking a little bit off camera about exactly what the energy efficient programs are that you do here at PES. I understand that you and Kirby and Connie are the folks that are responsible for that. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, Susan Carlisle takes care of our um, industrial and commercial customers and um, Kirby and I take care of the generation partners and residential customers as well as the schools. I, I got you. Now you were telling me about the TVA program. Can you tell the folks out there in layman's term for myself and maybe some of the folks out there exactly how that program works? Okay we have it's called an in-home energy evaluation program and we have a TVA auditor come out and evaluate your home. They actually do a very thorough audit which is going under your house, checking your unit inside in the attic, and they give you 10 recommendations on what you can do to improve your energy efficiency. And you can opt to do those or um, you know, take it one step at a time. But TVA does offer $500 tax incentive as well as you have an option for the federal tax credits. So there is a benefit. I mean, there, there, oh, there yeah. is the chance that oh, you yeah. can save some money and it is Absolutely. a good product. Absolutely. All right. Tell me a little bit about the training your guys go through and girls to go through um, before they get out there and do some of this dangerous work as you described. Well, we have some extensive training. Uh, it's uh, multiple labs, multiple classes. There's both, both hands-on work and book work to go through. It's, it's very extensive. It takes well, it's a continuing process. It takes a year just to get through the first program, and then as people progress, it's continued year after year. And, and we were kind of joking uh, off, off, off camera a little bit, but this is serious. When, when we see a PS crew out on a job, you know, sometimes to a person like me riding down the road, it may say, what in the world is, does it take so many people to do this one job? But it is a dangerous, this is serious stuff when you're messing with some you know, pretty pretty dangerous work, right? It is. It is. We have, uh, of course, high voltage power lines. Those power lines are not coated. They're not, you know, protected conductors. They're, they're just bare metal. And a lot of times they have to take special time to cover those up so that people's power can stay on while they're working on that. And of course, then during outages, they're trying to get that back on as quickly as possible. I got you. Another thing I found that was interesting when we talked about, you know, occasionally there may be a problem of an outage can occur. When that happens, they call in, they're reaching you guys 24 hours a day, um, and, and these folks are sometimes at home already, and it takes them a minute to get out there, but, but you guys are on it. Tell us the process. If there's a problem, what do I do as a, as a customer? Well, of course, uh, the number for the electric system, 3632522, they can call that at any time. There is a little bit of an automated system that just asks uh, what, they, what they're looking for, if it's a billing or a power outage or a, a fiber outage, a broadband outage question. They press two, it gets to a person immediately. That person after four o'clock and bef uh, before seven o'clock in the morning is at home, transfers to their home, and then of course there's only one person answering. It's a local PES employee that answers that phone and then dispatches a crew as quickly as possible to take care of their needs.